So what's next for thousands of Maryland's soon-to-be high school graduates? College, work, or the military? For high school seniors, the clock is ticking and very fast right about know. now. They're about to graduate and move on to their next phase in life. Yeah, a lot of decisions to make. And that moving on is not always a cut and dried decision. Many of them are kind of weighing their postgraduate options right now. 11 News education reporter Tim Tootin is live in the studio with that story. Tim. Well, Donna, close to 50,000 Maryland students are set to graduate and step into a brand new reality. We caught up with some seniors at one local high school to quiz them about their next move. They are entered into serious dramas of adulthood. At Old Mill High School, these seniors have just seven days left until classes are over and until they head across the stage to pick up their diplomas. For now, most have a pretty good idea of what they'll be doing come this fall. Uh, Towson University. I'm going to study speech pathology. I just like being able to help people, and it always seems to have a job available like anywhere at the elementary schools or high schools, too. Christine Dorsey can't wait to show up on the Towson campus. And based on last year's post-graduation plans, she'll be in a class of more than 35,000 students who say they were going to college full-time. Another 8,000 picked full-time work after high school. 7,000 said they would work part-time while going to college. Almost 2,000 seniors said they were headed to the military. Well, there's a lot of opportunity, and um, college is not easy to pay, but... You can go into the military and they'll pay your school fees for you so you can get all the knowledge you're going to get in college in the military. These old mill students have not ruled out a change in plans, even though most have their reasons for choosing a career path. I just wanted to do both so I can help support my family. Um, you know, we have a lot of people living in our house. We live with our grandparents. So I figured while I have, um, I'm already working now, so to maintain a schedule of both school and work that I already have now, I should just continue on doing that. And they're fairly certain that all of those paths will eventually lead to success. I plan on, uh, after high school, getting a job, saving money up, and eventually going to trade school. What interests you most about trade school? What in particular? Um, the fact that I can hop straight into a career of my choice, and it doesn't really cost as much as college. Costs which continue to rise in Maryland and across the country. And now, based on last year's post-graduation survey, nearly 2,000 Maryland students had no idea what they're going to do after school was over. Live in the studio, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.